everyone welcome back it is my May favorites and like this month I know this is like the cliche like monthly thing to say but for real I feel like May went by so fast I had a wedding and my birthday and now it's officially summer so I have several favorites that I wanted to show you and the first is I have gotten so many questions on like what I'm doing different with my hair and I've been doing the consistent same thing for probably a month and a half now and I just wanted to quickly talk about it in this video so we're gonna start out with that if you're new to my channel I'm Laura please subscribe down below so that we can be friends follow me on my social media so that I can talk with you okay so I've been using this hot tools wand this is so old but it is one of those like thicker at the top like tapered wands I'm not quite sure what it is at the top to what it fades to I would say this is like one inch to a half inch I'm not quite sure but it's like I guess if you would put your fingers like this looks really bad but if you would just put your fingers like this it's not that big around the base basically and so I just curl like pieces all the same direction like I don't go different directions I just go away from my face all the same direction and then I take a straightener and I straighten the end portions just to make the ends like a little bit just to make it a little bit more beachy I really have liked that and I feel like the style kind of like stays because the ends aren't curled and my ends typically get like straight or dull anyways later so and and also if it does like do anything it will get kinky up here like just from like laying on it or whatever or being up in like a bun and I can just go through with the straightener and straighten the ends if I want to wear it for a second day. So I've also been using Batiste Dry Shampoo. I've loved that. I've kind of moved away from my Nirvana Black because it was leaving a lot of residue plus it was really expensive. The product that I've been using on the ends of my hair is this Way. This is the finishing cream. I love the Way products. Uh, I actually, let me rephrase that. I love some of the Way products. I love this, the Wave Spray and the Finishing Oil. Those are like some of, or the hair oil are some of my favorite products. And this finishing cream is really, really great. I use that, those three products like pretty much on the weekly. But this I use like every single day, especially if it's second day hair too. I just take a little bit on my hand and like run it through the ends and then sometimes like the top of my hair because I get like tons of flyaways, like literally tons of flyaways. So if I am going to be wearing second day hair, even fresh hair, like I get flyaways. So I just will take it on my hands and, you know, comb down some of my flyaways, put it on the ends, give it a little bit more of a PC look. That is what I have been doing. And so many people have been like, hey, can you do a hair tutorial? To be quite honest, hair tutorials are like... I probably nobody watches them but everyone wants them so I figured if I would but like when you end up filming it and going through all the effort like nobody views it um, so I just figured like telling you guys in a favorites would be the best way because those have been like my favorite products and it's been the go-to way I've been doing my hair recently so I do need to get my hair probably cut a little bit because I do like it a little bit shorter than this That's basically what I've been doing with my hair and the product I totally recommend this like this is such a like lifesaver product for me it smells really good too I really really like it I purchased some of the way shampoo and conditioner the repair line and I don't know if I just got like a bad batch because mine smell like straight alcohol like it doesn't have a scent at all and a ton of people are always talking about how the shampoos and conditioners smell so good and I'm like I don't think I got a good one like I think I bought like a bad one maybe I'm thinking because everyone talks about how good they smell and I have so many of their other products that I love and that smell so good I have an eyelash that's playing me over here um, other products that I love and smell so good and though the shampoo and conditioner I have just doesn't okay also a necessary part of my hair styling this month and pretty much for like six months has been this this blow dryer from InStyler I love this blow dryer this is the blue turbo ionic dryer the temperature gauge on it is really really great because it doesn't just give you like low medium high temp it gives you like a nice gradient 
of where you can put the temperature. Plus you can change it to low, turbo, and then have the ions. It has like this blue light when you have the ions on and I feel like it makes my hair smoother. It just makes blow, like blow drying, it takes me half the time. For a long time I thought about getting a really, really expensive hair dryer, one of the Dyson hair dryers, and I was like, this really cuts my hair drying down like in half already. So I absolutely love this hair dryer and I think it's like an essential part of my styling process. It has also a diffuser attachment as well so if I do want to do my hair curly I can just attach that plus this gives like more direct power. So I use this to blow dry my hair. I feel like it makes my hair the silkiest, the smoothest plus it goes like it dries like that. So Installer was amazing and they are going to give two of these away to you. So all you have to do, enter down below, is leave a comment and I will choose a winner. I'm probably gonna leave it up for a week but all the rules will be down below. So two winners will be chosen and two of you will get to try out this hair dryer because it's pretty amazing. And if you want your hair to dry really fast and be nice and shiny and smooth, and this is your best friend. Okay, another product that I've been loving, I purchased this on my own. I used my friend Stephanie Babs Beauty, her discount code, which I think is just Babs Beauty um, from Morphe. When this first came out, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. I wanna know what it's all about. And I love it. It's such a fine, it's a setting spray, prep and set. So you can do it before you do your makeup and you can do it to set all of your makeup. So look at the mist. Like such a fine mist. Mm, it just it's like a continuous really not like you could you know a continuous mist I love it it smells really really good and I find that it just gives my makeup a great set my makeup has been lasting a whole lot longer every time I use this I haven't tried it for prepping my face first as a primer you know so, so that the makeup can like adhere onto it I've only used it as a set so you can use it for both but I guess it's a, it's a breathable, breathable mist locks in liquid and powder makeup. So it has water glycerin and I think that's what everyone's saying like the glycerin in it just really helps like your powder and your liquid foundation to kind of meld together and all that to look as one on your skin and I find that's what it does plus it locks in my makeup and it stays so you guys know I'm not like a Morphe affiliate or anything like that which there's nothing wrong if you are a Morphe affiliate but I've really been loving this and if you are interested in saving money I'll leave my friend's code down below because I figure I mean I use the code like I wanted to save some money and I don't mind giving to people's affiliate codes just because, I mean, I think, hey, if I heard about it from you, you know, and if I can save money, it's not doing anything. Okay, I'm just cleaning the lid to this as I talk. <laughs> okay, foundation I have been loving, and I know I did a review on this, and I was like, I don't know how this stays, like, on my face or whatever. I had used it two or three times prior to filming the video, and then when I filmed the video, I, like, loved the way it looked on the skin, and I found that it lasted longer that day, so I don't know if it's just, like, in addition to another primer that I've been using or setting it with the spray or whatever, but I found that this CoverGirl Vita Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation has been like working for me and it's been staying on. I love the coverage. I have the color 710, which is what I'm wearing today. That's the color that I wear when I'm fair. 725 is what I wear when I have a little bit of a self tan. It's just a really, really nice foundation. It has, it's like very comfortable on the skin. I have a full review if you'd like to see it, but it just it has really, really good coverage, and I love the appearance that it gives on my skin. It just gives this, like, really healthy look, and I really like that about it, plus the coverage, and my problem initially with it was I didn't feel like it had the longevity for me. If you have oily skin, I do not think you will like this foundation, but if you have dry skin, I really think you will like it. I don't find that it adheres to any dry patches. Uh, if you have combination skin, I think you will probably still like it, but 
uh, you will might have to touch up in the center of your face a little bit, like halfway through the day. It's just a really great everyday foundation, especially for a drugstore price. The one downside is I don't think they have a very wide color selection. So that's a negative. I mean, if you're coming out with a foundation, I can understand releasing a few shades to kind of see how the foundation goes. But that's going to be a deterrent to a lot of people. If they can't initially find their foundation color, they're not going to buy the foundation later. Maybe if you, like you're not going to get an accurate idea of who would love the foundation if you don't have a great color range. That's just my thoughts. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying to float a foundation and say, hey, should we come out with more? Like what's the interest in this foundation? Like you're going to get more of an accurate view if you're releasing it for all the colors, for all the people who would want to try it, and then you'll know how great the foundation is, all the people who are buying it. So anyways, I love it though. So if you do happen to have the skin tone that can find a color match in the foundation, I do think it is a great foundation. I just really hope they come out with colors for everyone to match everyone's skin tone. Okay, a blush combination that I cannot get away from. Like, I just love this blush combination. It's using the new NARS Liquid Blushes. Now, I know I've talked about these, and I'm just trying to pull the lid off. I can't do it. I'm just going to tell you what the combination is. It's the NARS Liquid Blush in Orgasm, which I'll swatch this, and then the Natasha Denona Duo Glow in um, Alba, 01 Alba, which is like a peachy basically like this just peachy highlight shade which is what I have on my cheeks this combination is like literally life it's just the perfect glow I love these NARS little liquid blushes they're so beautiful this one in orgasm I haven't shown yet I've showed luster but this is just the prettiest it has like a tiny pump you pump like a little bit out on your hand let me just show you this pump will do both of your cheeks so I'm just gonna do that because I take a stippling brush I massage it around in my hand and then I use that to buff it into my face I want to do a heavy swatch so that you can kind of see and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the product and like rub it out over here so that you can kind of see how it would look when you so that's like a heavy swatch it has like a little bit of a golden sheen to it. It's not super duper noticeable, but when you top it with the other blush, it's beautiful. And this is kind of it blended out. It just melds into the skin and almost like, I don't want to say stains the skin, but becomes one with it. It's not like a cream to liquid to powder at all. It just really gives like a super natural look. If you're someone who's looking for like a little bit of color to your cheeks, but you don't like the look of a powder product, this would be great because you can wear it on its own. You don't have to top it with anything. And it gives you that like really nice flush to your face. Now I love topping it with this Duo Glow. This is so beautiful. Now this was sent to me, so I'm not quite sure if it's out yet or if it's sold out on Sephora's website, but these Duo Glows from Natasha Denona are so beautiful. So this is the color Alba, and it's just like this shimmering orangey shade. I'm gonna swatch it on its own, and then I'm gonna show you it swatched on top. So that is it swatched on its own, which let me, I will get a close up at the end of that and then this is it swatched on top of the blush. It just gives this like beautiful peachy glow which is what I've been, the combo I've been wearing and I love it. Here are those swatches. This is the orgasm blush on its own. This is the combo topped and then this is the Natasha Denona blush on its own. So like this is what it looks like and this just stays on my face all day. I love the combo. Okay, last but not least, I have two eyeshadow palettes that I've been going between a ton this month. The first one is from Jouer. I got this halfway through the month, but I can't stop using it. It's what I have on my eyes today. Well, I have a combination of both of these, and let me tell you why. So this skinny dip palette from Jouer is like probably the most incredible foiled glittery goodness that I've ever, oh, I just, I love all these shades. I love the selection of colors. Like, let me just show you. You barely touch it, and boom. Like, barely touch boom I'm just gonna swatch some of my favorite colors that I've been wearing like these three I've just been wearing but I mean they're all super duper beautiful but I mean 
incredible, incredible pigmentation and I mean, they're so metallic. I've been wearing the color Skinny Dip. I think that's the color that I have. Yeah, Skinny Dip, which is the gold shade right here. All over my lid, I've also worn um, Magic Hour, which is this like grayer, taupey shade right here all over my lid. But I love wearing these on the lid and then topping, like going through because you kind of need another palette with this palette. Like this is like, hey, I got all your lid shades and this is like, I got you on the crease and all the other like darkening up and everything. So this needs to be paired with a friend and this is a great friend basically to pair with any palette. So I'm gonna tell you about this, but Jouer Skinny Dip Palette, if you can get your hands on it, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I do have a discount code. It is an affiliate code. If you do choose to use it, I get a portion of the sale. So if that bothers you, you can skip using my code, but it will save you 15%. It's Lola15 off, and it's always down below if you are interested in saving money on anything on the Jouer website. But this is from Tarte, and this was sent to me. This is the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. I love this because it is for so much. You can use it for your eyebrows. You can use it for your eyeshadow. You can use it for your contour. It's just an all-in-one. It has a great mirror, but it has these three shades right here. It also smells it smells really good like vanilla. I've been using mainly every single day this color in the crease, this color to darken up. They're super... Let me get swatches on this hand. It has like neutral and then cooler and warmer. I'm not quite even sure how it is all set up, but I swear these shades are so incredibly buttery and just like pigmented, so buttery and pigmented. Like this is what I use for my bronzer to contour with. It's just they're so, so nice and pigmented. They blend so well. So I've been using this in conjunction with the Jouer Skinny Dip Palette, and I love pairing this with anything. I've worn this by itself on my eyes. It's a great, quick, everyday look. Like I said, you could travel with this because you have your contour, you have your brows, you have your eyeshadows in it. So it's just a really great all-in-one kind of palette. All of them are matte all buttery and I feel like no matter what type of skin you have you're going to be able to find something in this palette to work for your skin for your eyebrows for your eyes like you're going to find something to work in here so that is it for my monthly favorites all the products that I have been loving this month go ahead and leave down below some of your favorites I would love to know and don't forget to subscribe before you leave thank you guys so much for watching I will see you all in the next video Mwah.